Hey guys, it's Jake with AG Russell Knives. Today we're doing knives under $25. Great gift knives, stocking stuffers, these kind of knives. So we're just gonna jump right in. This is the AG Russell Simple 3 inch Lockback. It's a mid lock. This is coming in at $16.95. Fantastic grind, that's why I like it the most. You got a nice shallow grind with a very thin edge. I use this one as my letter opener. It sits on my desk all the time. I carried it in my fifth pocket for a while. Um, Nice lightweight, works great with, uh, I also carry it in my gym shorts occasionally, like, like if I'm going on a run or something. Um, fantastic grind using an 8CR 13MOV. Super, super duper lightweight. Uh, yeah, I've probably purchased more of these than any other knife. Next, we have the Buck Rival 2. This is coming in at 1895. You got a midlock here. You got that, that half saber grind here. Uh, nice deep pocket clip. It is going to be right hand carry only. It's only on that side. USA made solid uh, knife there, 1895. Uh, next, we're going to talk about the Buck 112 Slim Select. This one is in red. It comes in a bunch of different colors. You have, again, the 420 HC steel. It is, again, a lock back. This time it's not a mid lock, though. It's a, it's a lock back all the way in the back there. You have, they put thumb studs on it, and it has a wide, deep pocket clip. There are a few people who don't like the pocket clip, too much advertising, but come on, it, it's an anvil, it looks cool. I, I think it's cool. Probably the only thing I'd change is the, I feel like the blade to handle ratio is a little bit off. You got a lot of handle and kind of a smaller blade. A little bit of recurve on that blade, by the way, too. Um, tiny bit short for my taste but uh, I can totally understand why they're doing that. But coming in at $24.95, solid pick. I think uh, I, I personally like this more than the standard uh, Buck 112. Next, we're talking about the CRKT Kiss. Keep it super simple or keep it simple stupid, however you want to phrase that acronym. It is uh, probably primarily used as a money clip. You had a nice, super broad clip on this sucker. It's using a um, 3CR 13 blade, which is kind of low car carbon content on there. But you have this nice chisel grind. Chisel being, being it's only ground on one side, so it's completely flat on this side, and then it's ground on this side. But it's got a thick edge. It's a chunky, chunky edge. Because it's a chisel grind, the grind sits flat and flush against the side here, so you can't cut yourself. It, there's, there's no way to kind of pick up on the edge there. Um, so it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be sh sharp like, like a hollow grind. See, you can, you can cut paper with it. It's, it's sharp, don't. Don't like smash your fingers on that stupid. <laughs> Personally, I would actually, this is one of the ones I would uh, recommend getting the combo edge on there because that way you can get some, a uh, little bit more cutting out of that, out of those serrations and serrations don't dole nearly as fast, but really neat knife. This one has been on the market for uh, decades now. It's, it's been, been a while. This is one of the most popular models they've ever come out with. I think, uh, I believe it was this one. When it first came out, we bought 5,000 of these. Just straight off the, off the table, we bought the first run, I believe, um, and sold all of them because they're a neat, neat knife. Next, we have the CRKT Squid. This is a Burnley design. It, uh, it's uh, coming in at 1995. Got a nice standard drop point blade here using an 8CR 13MOV steel. It is a full stainless steel handle there. Deep pocket clip, frame lock. It's a little bit heavy, um, especially compared to many of these other knives, which are kind of rather lightweight for knives as far as knives go. And this one's going to be on the other end. It's going to be more, a little more heavy duty. Um, yeah, solid knife. I really like the thumb studs on this. A little bit hard for me to close one-handed, but definitely doable. Uh, I think it would depend on your dexterity there. But um, yeah, fantastic uh, and very popular. Next, you can't talk about the sub $25 range and not talk about the K-Bar Dozier Folding Hunter. And this is a fantastic knife, probably one of my most recommended knives in the sub $25 range. Coming in at $21.95, typically, uh, depends on the 
depends on the blade shape and the, and the coloring and such. 2195, it is a mid-lock. It's using AUS-8 steel. You got a nice hollow grind on there with a drop point blade. This one is in red. It comes in a bunch of different colors. Uh, the standard version does. It has a pocket clip. It is a reversible pocket clip. My only change would be I personally prefer to have two screws on the clip just to make sure it doesn't wiggle any. It does inset into the handle there, so it does reduce some of the wiggle there. Um, and the, the uh, thumb stud is only on one side as well, so it feels like a right hander hand, but just like the clip, the thumb stud is reversible. I have checked that. Um, not all thumb studs are reversible, so if you see one that is only one side, make sure you ask. Um, this one does come in a couple different blade shapes, so here is a a little bit more of a Skinner detail one. You still got that nice hollow grind, again with the AUS-8 steel. This has a thumb hole instead of the thumb stud, uh, which a lot of people like, especially because you can open thumb holes with gloves on, on your hands, a lot easier than thumb studs. And um, you also can get it in a small pocket version. You know, it's just a tiny, it still does come with a pocket clip, which is awesome. Uh, but it also comes with a keychain if you want to put it on a keychain ring. It comes with a keychain ring, sorry. Um, still a medlock. This is $17.95. Um, and then this year they're also coming out with a D2 version. Um, we have it on order. I think it's a blue handle. Don't, don't hold me to that because I only saw it, the picture briefly. Um, but we have that on order, so excited to get the D2 version. Obviously that will be above the, the $22 mark, but exciting stuff. Next we're getting into the Kershaw. This is the Kershaw Shuffle 2. This is a, the only Tonto I have on the table right now. So you have a Tonto, you got the two blade, uh, two edge geometries there, and then it does have that hollow grind just uh, in the middle there. Coming in at 1995. again you have these uh, lightweight kind of uh, Zytel type handle scales. This one's got a lot of texturing, um, so it's it's uh, pretty. It's pretty textured. It's not grippy textured, but it, it's you're not going to slip on it at all. Especially with the way it curves down, it's got some serious curves. Some people don't like the curve. Again, I'm talking really fast to kind of get this, make this a fast video because I'm really trying to cut down on our times. We've been super long. The really cool thing about this, I think, is the bottle opener, screwdriver, pry bar on the back. To me, the, the useful thing is the screwdriver flat bar, um, just for prying and scraping. That way you're not using your blade, uh, which you shouldn't be doing. But uh, yeah, you can pry with that. So, and that'll be a really solid pick. <clears throat> this is actually gonna be a tip down carry. That does throw a few people off. Um, so just keep be aware of that. But it is an, Mounted fairly high. It's not technically a deep pocket clip, but it's pretty close. Um, and then, uh, of course, in true Tonto fashion, it has a decent amount of material at the tip there. So it's a fairly strong tip. I think um, if you have a friend who's abusive to knives, this is a solid pick. Next, uh, Talking about the Kershaw Mixtape. Interesting knife coming at $24.95. You have kind of a sheep's foot sort of style blade there. Again, this is an this one's gonna be an 8CR 13 MLV blade, just like the last one. Interesting pocket clip coming to, coming in from inside the uh, handle scale there. It is only a one-way, it's a one-way clip, it's not gonna be reversible. Typically, it's using a thumb disc instead of a thumb stud. Typically, I'm not a big fan of thumb discs, but I think this one works really well. It's got good positioning. I think some companies just really turn me off on the thumb disc because they're so hard to use, but uh, Kershaw, for the most part, I like the placement on all the Kershaw thumb discs, and it's got enough, it's got a good action, so it's easy to use. So you can see me, I'm flicking it open fast. You can also do it slow. There are thumb, some thumb discs that you can't do fast or you can't do slow. It's like one or the other. And so this one I think is positioned just right with just the right amount of texture on there to not like chew up your thumb. Pretty lightweight, you got some texturing on there. 24.95, this is gonna be a solid knife here. I, I like this one a lot. 
Current pricing will be on the website. I'm just gonna, this is what they are at this point in time as of filming. Uh, here we are, I have the o Outdoor Edge Chasm. This is uh, in a brown, it comes in a several different colors and it also comes in a couple different sizes. Uh, you can get it in a small size, nice pocket size. About, I think it's the, the small size is about this small dozier size. Um, the coloring is a rubber type material, so it's got a nice grippy handle. You're not gonna slip on that at all. Outdoor Edge is specifically a hunting knife. It's a hunting knife company, so everything they make is designed to, to be a hunter, so it's usually typically very grippy. This is uh, using a very nice, fairly deep hollow grind. It's just gonna be a nice slicey knife. Interesting blade belly. It's very, very flat for this section. Then it has a very, very fast transition in the belly, and then it goes into a flat section for the tip. Um, I'd be interested to see if this would be actually be easier to sharpen because you can, on a stone, you can just go flat, flat, and then just round out with that very short transition. Um, probably in, yeah, I'd be curious to see if it'd be easier or harder to sharpen. Lightweight, um, this is gonna be a one-way pocket clip. It is tip up, so nice tip up. Triple screws, big fan of the triple screws. No, it's not gonna be wiggling on you, but it is only gonna be right-handed. $17.95, if you like this kind of idea, they have it in different sizes, different blade shapes, uh, definitely check out Outdoor Edge for budget knives. I think they're a solid pick. They're not talked about that much, so I, I think they deserve a little bit more, more talking about. I think they're doing a good job. Next, we have the Victorinox Tinker. Um, Really, I mean, Victorinox, you can't go wrong with a Victorinox for an everyday carry. You got your main blade here with stainless steel. This is coming in at $21.95. Nice standard uh, shaped blade here. You, of course, also have a pin blade, so you can use one as your using knife and one as your sharp knife or like a letter opener or something like that, just keeping it sharp. Um, they're using their own proprietary steel. They don't tell you what it is. Um, this is a can opener, and then of course on the other side you have your flat head and, and uh, bottle cap. And on this side you have a full number two sized Phillips. Love that number two, full sized, all the way. I hate, I don't hate, I dislike multi-tools with, with the flat Phillips head. I'd, almost always would prefer to go look for a real screwdriver than I am to use a flat one. And then of course they have the uh, punch, which is always a much more useful tool than you really think it would be if you've, I don't know, I, should use, I use the punch all the time. And of course it comes with your tweezers and your, on the other side, your toothpick. Not sure how sanitary that is, but uh, yeah, I keep it wiped off, it, it'll do the job. So yeah, Tinker, solid pick, nice. Uh, for all the tools, fairly lightweight, um, and just very smooth in the pocket, you know, it doesn't, it's not annoying, in my opinion. So that's gonna wrap it up for budget knives, these are uh, at least the sub $25 knives. Y you can get a solid knife with good steel and a good grind for 15 to $25, you can do it. So, please stop buying gas station knives because they're awful and their locks fail and they're terrible grinds and they're not sharp and just, oh. Go to a, a real brand, get a, a real knife. It's still pretty much the same price. I know it's not $5 like a gas station knife, but $15, come on, you can get a solid one. So I'm uh, curious, uh, which of these on the table is your favorite and is there a sub $25 knife that I didn't do that you think really deserves mentions, mentioning. Let me know in the comments. I'm always interested to see what people are carrying and gifting and giving away. Um, yeah, like I said, I've bought a lot of these and given a lot of these away. They're, they're cool knives. These are some of my favorites. Um, yeah, that's why I picked them. <laughs> um, so let me know your favorite. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll get to those. If you want, want to see something in particular or a particular category, particular product, let me know in the comments. I will be working in the store this Christmas season, so I'll have limited video time, but I will try to get to those. As always, guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and have a good one.